there is no question in my mind that the current two-party system uh, is not yielding the benefits that we all effectively two-party system, even though we, we, we have provision for other smaller parties, is not yielding the benefits uh, that we, we all hoped for back in 1992 when the constitution was first put together. And, and, and why do I say that? In, in some respects, um, we've heard a lot of the reasons why I thought uh, Kwesi Prempe's presentation in particular was very, um, very broad in helping us understand. But, but clearly, my perspective is that there's too much power vested in the executive. Um, and that goes all the way down to the district. We talked about district elections. Mm. Uh, the, the, the president has the power to appoint uh, many of the senior members of the legislature, uh, has the power to appoint uh, boards of state-owned enterprises. And this system we have effectively where it's a winner-take-all uh, pretty much means that we have a four to eight year cycle of political management. Uh, what I also believe and what I see is that our political managers are the same as our economic managers. Uh, we have a situation where our private sector is not particularly big. Uh, most small businesses will tell you how difficult it is to access credit in this country. Uh, interest rates are very high. So we, over the years, have not built up the kind of private sector that we need to basically power the economy forward. And we have a government uh, with all these state-owned enterprises that runs a lot of our key areas. Uh, a lot of these organizations tend to be bloated. They are not particularly efficient. And they're not generating the kind of outcomes that... Um, we need to see for the benefit of the country.